Go ahead and interrupt. Go ahead and do it. I haven't started yet, but just, just go ahead and interrupt. Get it over with. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's up, YouTube? Lambda Man here, and welcome back to Doki Wait, Doki Literature Club. No. Um... <laughs> uh, okay. uh, it's been it's been it's been some time it's been, it's some, been time. some time it's been like five weeks since we did the last one it's been over a month <laughs> oh, okay yeah. but the reason it's been that long is because i actually did post this before oh. however however the video got taken down for um, reasons to be reasons, explained. reasons that will be later seen because I would, you will understand. Look, if this it was epi- make if this was episode five, I'd spoil it. But unfortunately, it's still episode four, so I get to live through episode four again. And Whoa! the only reason, the only, reason the only reason is because Whoa! I specifically said that if my baby in yellow video got nine likes, I would re-record Doki Part Four. But you said 10 likes in the actual video. Did I say 10 likes in the video? Yeah, well... <laughs> okay, well, whatever. You said 9 likes on Twitter. That's what it was, okay. So it got the likes. So, here we are. So now, I can hit load game. And I can't oh, see! I have to add. Hold on. I before. can't see! I'll fix it, okay? <laughs> Just before, before we go any further. Alright, there we go. I spent exactly 33 minutes. Oh, it took 30 minutes. Oh, no, hold on. That's when I. That's when I. Uh, <laughs> it took me less than 30 minutes. I lied, because I finished it. I finished at 12:20 and started at 12:02, so it took 18. It took you 18 minutes to get through the first like big chunk of the game. What? Never mind, just... Just, yeah, I... <laughs> Meh. Okay, anyway. It took me only 18 minutes to get through the first chunk of the game. Are we at the exact line we, we left off on? We are at the exact line that we left off on last time. Because it's already Sunday. <laughs> Which it's, it's not, it's Monday now. It's already Sunday. I hate you. Because it is 12.49. 12.50! And I also noticed I need to resize this. It's 12.50! It is 12.50 now. He's right. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now we can see everything. Are you ever going to change your name in Beans back to something regular? Probably not. Jacob already changed his yeah, I'm back. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it for a while. I don't know what I'll change it to. Either way, it's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. I'll bet you she does. Because Ah. women are different people when they're alone. Um, Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. (laughs) Yeah. There is no funny, just keep reading. Yeah, okay. Uh, We sent each other one... After exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into a conversation. That that broke my brain. This is going to be a bad session. I can tell already. Um, oh, it's already happening. <laughs> it's already happening. My brain was just like. What are we some... like? Three minutes into the video or something? Uh, we are four minutes and five seconds. She's almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of emoji and cute language. Sounds like me. Uh, she also you know really... Jackson be saying the uwu in the DMs. Oh yeah. Oh by the way, this video is sponsored by IBC Root Beer. It's not. It's but not. If it, if it was, IBC, please sponsor me. I love you guys. Please, I love this stuff. If I if I got free stuff of this, I would literally just. I, I don't know. I don't have any way to express how I feel about it. I don't think they're going to be watching this video anytime soon. Maybe. Hey. Hey. Anyone watching this, recommend it to your friends. Boom. IBC will see it eventually. <laughs> IBC obtains all knowledge posted on the internet. <laughs> they will see it eventually. IBC. 
Their IBC sees all. They know all. They're like they're like the new Baskin Robbins. Baskin Robbins always knows. Baskin Robbins always finds out. They always find out. They always find out. But putting Natsuki aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I've decided to visit Sayori before Natsuki comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we're family. I know this is going to sound weird, but that fence design is fire. Yeah, you're weird. Got him. <laughs> the house is quiet. Sayori isn't Man. anywhere on the Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. Monkey Man's coming into Sayori's house without permission. Monkey Man. Hey Soup, I'm sorry for taking your voice, but Monkey Man. Uh <laughs> I'm not sorry, it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? McLamda. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. Also, since I said it last time, I gotta say it this time. Don't say it! It doesn't look, look at like the angry a bird! Triangle. Look it's at the angry triangle. bird! It is a triangle! It's a triangle, and you press it, and it goes really fast, and it's good at breaking wood blocks. Wesley, you're about to listen to me. It's a damn triangle. Why didn't I listen to you then? Fuck you. Good. Okay, anyway, now that, now that the mic peaking is done. She forced a smile. Oh, but we're not done! done. <laughs> Alright, it might be done now. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> There's a minute of silence. Perfect. Perfect. No more mic peeking. That's right. It's like they knew. <gasps> okay. You haven't come over like this a long time, have you? No, I haven't. Ah, I guess you're right. It's been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is a me- is- <laughs> Goodbye, Jackson. No more Jackson. <laughs> Goodbye. Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now, like the Angry Bird. And like the... calendar. The Rip calendar, the folded jeans, the coffee mug, the water plants in need of watering. If you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Natsuki today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time that we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? As vice president, you know nothing. Isn't that right, uh... Jackson, vice president of the Beta Club No, fuck. Who was I who's, the... no, who's her vice president, bro? I entirely forgot. Mike Pence. <laughs> oh my gosh, really? <laughs> I was like, who's our vice president? Hold on. It seems Biden forgot to pick a running mate as well. <laughs> Biden picked a running mate. Oh, he did? Yeah, it's a uh, lady. Who, technically speaking, I think... Um, <laughs> I don't think she can actually fill in for him as president. Because she's not a natural-born U.S. citizen. That'll be interesting. Yeah. So it was really basically... funny, Babylon, <laughs> Babylon being posted an article saying, uh, quote Biden, he can't wait to find out who his running mate's gonna be. I saw that. <laughs> Anyways, continue. Yeah, don't want to get too political on here, do we? Um, ah, that's true. Here's what I'm but saying. what about you? Screw politics. I hate both sides. 
I can second that. That'll keep it. That'll keep it real ambiguous. Well, that's that's also how we are, though. So, aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Well, we can't <laughs> let the viewers know the truth. Yes, you can. <sighs> all right, cut everything. <laughs> of course, out. you Just can. Cut it all out. Okay. Of course. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Uh, so it's just me and not Suki then? Yep. There's more silence between us. Siri stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing... You ever just have it where, like, that, like, root beer gas just comes up at random? You ever have it where you turn your neck and then you just realize that you've actually been dead for seven years? Yes. Yes. I do have that problem. Every day. You, you oh talk my about, gosh. like, that weird burning sensation, like... Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, and it feels like your vein has just been ripped out. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. It, it, happen it happened after you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. <laughs> I know you too well. So, oh, Sari you know smiles, yes. shaking her head. I know everything. Yeah. I know everything. 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 Now it's cringe. Yeah, I know. I love the cringiness, brother. That's no good, McLambda. Huh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? It's all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings. If I didn't make that stupid mistake. Like uploading a 12 minute video <laughs> to Jackson's quote unquote short vi video try not to laugh compilation. Then you wouldn't have worried about me at all. <laughs> you wouldn't have come here. <laughs> you wouldn't even be thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? Getting negative one points? Gosh, I'm such an idiot. I'm getting punished for being so selfish. <laughs> I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. They just wants to torture me. I mean, I didn't even get a single point. I got less than a point. E he he. Sayori. <laughs> Continue. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Bro, there is a damn stink bug on the wall. Hold on. This is the part of the show where I say to Jackson's audience that he sucks. I can still hear you. This is the part of the show where I say... Frick. Yeah, it is. Dang it, I accidentally unplugged my phone. Whoops. I mean, hello. I'm here as I've always Theory been. Theory gives me an empty smile as she opens her mouth to show that it is still empty. You really put me in a trap, McLambda. But... You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> My war defense team has always been commons. <laughs> <laughs> You're just really 
really gonna make me say it, aren't you, McLamda? <laughs> I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept, me, kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why? Sayori. Eh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you have to do is tell me. You don't understand. You don't. Huh? You, you really don't understand at all, McLean. <laughs> Yeah, how does it feel that I'm still calling you McLambda four episodes in? Mm -hmm. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. Like meeting Yuri. And writing a poem for her when she can't even read it. <laughs> it's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly to, for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why... That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Haha. Uh -huh. You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting. That's what I'll do. No, McLambda. There's nothing. Nothing at all. There is no funny. Take off your clothes. <laughs> there, there's no funny. Take off, take off your clothes. Uh, there is no meme. Uh, take off your clothes. The only thing that could have helped if everything was like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. And I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Ah! <laughs> Dude, it just Every time you do that, it literally just like, I hear just... And then nothing. Uh, uh. 
Make a lambda. Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Lambda? Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. McLambda. I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. Robot face? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I mean, a 12 minute video. <laughs> I don't understand any of my feelings, McLambda. The 12 minute video thing is never going to go away. I can guarantee that. <laughs> the only time I'm not feeling. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But. Your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary, too. Sayori lets me go. And as she does, I let go of her as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? what I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice, then. Yeah. Sayori wipes her eyes. I could, If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all the days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No! Please don't. If you did, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Natsuki to meet me at my house. And the very, at the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori, Sayori shakes her head. Sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry about me too much. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy, but it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki is about to come over, too. I think that Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. If you'll notice, I did it again where I played a Clash match during a recording. Yeah, I figured. I was wondering why you weren't paying attention, and I was like, okay, that's probably it. <laughs> I only do it for the funny. Alright. <clears throat> COVID cough. Um... I spent only a few minutes back at home anxiously awaiting Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. She didn't just knock? Rude. Actually, you know what, now that I think about it, I do that to you a lot. Do what to me? Like, instead of, instead of actually walking up to the front door if we're going somewhere, I actually just, like, text you and say, hey, I'm outside. 
Well, that's fair. That's what everyone does. You, Micah, Levi. Well, and also, you know what? Now that I think uncle. about it, that's... The reason why is because you never answer the door. Like, if you're the only person home, I don't... It, it, I don't... It, I shouldn't even bother knocking. Well, because, like, you're usually upstairs usually, or in the basement, and the... Exactly, and, and I can't downstairs. hear the door. So... Yeah, so I guess it, it makes make sense. sense. Yeah. Without delay, I open the front door to let her in. Uh -huh. What's up? What the heck was that noise? Yeah! What's up, dog? Not yours, it's mine. N -A -T for, for the robot face, Wesley, I just did. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's NIT Suki up in this joint. Hey. I don't know what I was hey, expecting, Suki. but seeing. Seeing that Suki in something other than her school kids. uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes her, the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Jeez, don't make me feel so awkward already. It's gonna be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to me seeing me outside of school. Anyways, I'm coming in! I see you brought a lot of stuff. Suki is carrying a large bag of something that is probably baking supplies. These are all toys. Yeah, we'll call them toys. Uh, well, I didn't want to come all this way to find your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. Look at the cheese wheels that you have on right beside the oven. Are are those cheese wheels or are they bowls? Like, I legitimately can't tell. I don't know. I just remember you being like, no, they're bowls. And I'm like, nah, they're definitely cheese wheels, my dog. Yeah, like, we, we talked about this last time. I was like, what in the world are they? Like, are they bowls? Are they cheese wheels? Like oh, they're obviously bowls, but I, I like to imagine that he just has six cheese wheels. Well, no, and see, up. the thing is, like, the more I look at it, the more I think that could be a cheese wheel. Okay, like, so it, look it has at the to middle be bowl. bowl on the left side. That one confirms to me that they're bowls. Dude, it could just be Shadow, dude. Because, like, it's it's a close you know, enough why color. Why am I like... arguing? I want them to be cheese wheels. They're cheese wheels, damn it. Okay, they're cheese wheels. Cheese. Uh, this, this one you brought everything titled, I asked you to, right? It's Doki Doki Literature Club, but everything is made of cheese. Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good! Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that rather than something snarky like she usually does. Could, could it be that she's a little different outside of school after all? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. But you're not even gonna offer to take this heavy bread from the lady? Where's your hospitality, bitch? <laughs> Come on! Since when did I need to be a gentleman? I grab the bad Natsuki holds out to me. <laughs> this is ridiculously heavy. I carried that all the way here. 4,000 miles from Rome. Are you Rome. impressed? <laughs> that, you're gonna tell me that girl is from Rome? Rome, Georgia. Oh, okay. That's fair. <laughs> I see now. Yeah, I am impressed, Natsuki. Seems like I always underestimate you. hee <laughs> hee. It's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki hits a fist into my chest. You Whoa. got pretty bouncy boobs Hold on. as well. Hold on. She hit a fist into your chest? Whoa. It's almost like you should, could say she hit your chest. It's almost like you could say... he.
why do you make me have to do extra editing work? What? Okay, so because of the new update that happened on the 28th of July, you can now say, and quote me if I'm wrong, you can now say cock-sucking and it still be a monetizable video. And now, I will bleep it more. I'm gonna, what the? I'm you, gonna, no! I'm going to make an entire segment called Western Job Bleeps. Oh my gosh. And then you everyone will cancel you. It. You can say <laughs> it. It's monetizable now. They're not going to strike your video. <sighs> Either Look way. at the YouTube updates. Look at them. Either way. Natsuki hits a fist into my chest. Hey, hey, hey! Never mind, just cut out the entire video. Oh, that's fair. No, no video. Your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Eh! Um... It's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they think I'm only worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small and also better than people. Me too, Natsuki. Me too. <laughs> I'm confused. But... Alright, so, uh, Jackson, just cut this one out. It's because, I I'm mean, not small cutting as it in out. the... I mean, small is in the sense of, but I, uh, oh, okay. I'm, I understand now. <laughs> I like when I get to be small and also better than people. Yeah. Okay. I understand now. Jeez. Never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you can talk to me about weird things just because we're not at school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I got to teach you. <laughs> what? That's a little bit more what? like you. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> You're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. Hey! Now you are treating me like a kid. Oh, yeah. What? Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I was just trying to be a little nicer, you know. And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like... <clears throat> Natsuki catches her words and her face turns red. Natsuki? Forget it! I didn't say anything! I should apologize. Eh? I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more considerate, too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body types like yours. Why Jackson are you for about one. This? <laughs> you mean Jackson for one. You said, <laughs> now you are treating me like a kid. Quote Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, let's get a slow-mo recap of that, and then remix it, and then yeah. turn it into a full feature album, yeah. and then turn it into a three-part trilogy movie series. Yeah. And then turn it into a triple-A game series with 14 <laughs> parts. And then each, when FNAF 57 comes say, out... Each one's just gonna say, yeah. And then when FNAF 57 comes out, anyway... How would you know that anyways? Scott Coffin hasn't said anything about it. Just trust seconds. me on this one. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Robot face. Gross. Hey. Was that to me? Who else? Yeah. The cheat wheel. Let's just get started already. <laughs> you get all sour when girls call you gross. I finally found your weakness, McLambda. No, my weakness is small rocks. Your weakness might be all of the child murder allegations that have been stacking up recently. Bro, what is wrong with me? Just freaking like, no, my weakness is small rocks. 
as you can tell, you can't every hide once forever. A, every once in a while, guys, you we, can't hide we just forever. have jokes that just don't land ever. Oh my gosh, I have so many funny jokes that you'll just be like. And then you won't say anything, and I'll be like, man, I know I'm funny, but I know Jackson isn't <laughs> reacting because he'll think it will be funnier just to see me burn and suffer out here in front of y'all. That does sound about right. Feeling like Anakin on Mustafar every time I tell a joke. Natsuki smiles deviously. Please, spare me. <laughs> well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. But if she's satisfied enough for now, finally starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Before long, the so this is the cock is ring! Nice. You put it right on top... <laughs> and no, Wesley, I don't, I don't have to bleep that one. Uh, before long, the whole good is a mess, as it looks perfectly clean except for those frickin' cheese wheels. The cheese wheels are immaculate. Spoons, dirty bowls, Spell flour, it. spilled fluid, oh, and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we've had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. McLinda, where did you put the food coloring? The batter's going to go in the oven soon, so I need to feel the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? The, to color the batter, of course. I'm going to make each tray a different color. This one's going to be red, this one's going to be blue, this one's going to be yellow, this one's going to be white, and this, this one's, one's going to be a be cheese orange. wheel. Remember what I said about jokes that How don't land? How does it feel, Anakin? How does it feel? <laughs> <laughs> to want. To want everyone to laugh at your jokes. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Anakin, no, not the younglings. <laughs> you gotta read the line. That way, even if the flavors aren't different, everyone can pick their favorite! Oh, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? No. You're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on! You're not putting any heart into this at all. Can't you at least try to have fun? I am having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki's trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see a separate... Meanwhile, I see her separate the yeah. into smaller bowls yeah. and put a few <laughs> drops of food and coloring into each. Ah, that does look uh, cool. How does it feel to have the reading level of a kindergartner? Penis. A penis. Hey, Peter, can I see your penis? Read the damn line, motherfucker. Can I see your penis? Fucking read the line, motherfucker. I just want to get a little taste of that penis. I will put my penis in your nose. Wait, you skipped it. Go back to the history. It said C. C? It's like baking is- it's not like baking is just about- ha, How does it feel to have the reading level of a kindergartner? I don't do it all the time. We have video- ha! You do it all the time. K Westerjob has the reading level all of a kindergartner. Time. I'm tweeting it right now. Tweeting it right now. Go ahead. Do it, bitch. At least I watch all of your 12-minute videos. Got him. Tweeting it right now. Good. I look forward to me liking it like I always do. Okay. Read. Maybe I don't want to anymore. Maybe I want an apology. Okay, guys, this has turned into apology video. Um, I no, we should we should make it a separate video. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, that's fair. 
Are you going to read the one? Sorry, I'm liking a tweet from my favorite YouTuber. Well, I got a notification from Twitter. Wow, liked by Westerjob. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. What did you comment? It's a million times more worse than in the end if you looking at it and everyone and and it makes every and and the oh no I'm Jackson. Got him. Like the ones you made on my first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes, and Sayori and Monica's delighted expressions. wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that, too. Yeah. Maybe I will use the food coloring, then. Look, you're starting to understand. Nope. Just want to use some food coloring. Just make sure you finish mix mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We're using the electric mister for the batter, so I get stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. The mister? Or the what did mixer? I say? The mister. I thought I said mixer. Roll the clip! Which is now Facebook Gaming. Um, eh. This video is sponsored by Facebook now. <laughs> I just want some of that as a duck. I just want the zuck. The icing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Nope. Uh, well, yeah. It's just take a little longer. Jeez, you'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. Let's say he grabs the whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? As if to emphasize, Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey, what are you doing, you creep? Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, huh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back, trying to inch my finger toward the bowl. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next! I'd like to see you try. I push harder, just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some with my finger, just as Natsuki tugs with all her might. <sighs> the force of Natsuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble and turn. Gross! You got it on my face! Whose fault is that? There's a big glob of icing on Natsuki's cheek. She tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez! You know what? Take this! Natsuki instead wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger towards my own face. Wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Okay, hold on. Alright, can you go back to the history to that line? Which one? The take this. Uh take this. Ah, uh, dang it, never mind. I deleted the gun app. <laughs> I was gonna be yeah. like, take this! <laughs> <laughs> you wish. I'm faster. I am speed. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. Ah! Stop! Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine! Wesley, you're cutting out again. Move closer to your mic. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I didn't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. 
You do that all the time, you know. Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. Take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing. You monster! Did... Did... Did you seriously just... Uh... Uh... Natsuki's so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. McLamda! You really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? Robot face. What kind of question is she asking me just like that? How did the mood turn to this so quickly? I... Natsuki glazes... Glazes? Yes, you have become Glizzies. a donut. Natsuki gazes at me in silence. I Natsuki glizzies breath. at me in silence. Does Natsuki got a glizzy? Oh! Why am I starting to feel glizzy? <laughs> Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off. Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. COVID. <laughs> no wonder! You left a dirty train here, dummy! How could you make a mistake like that? Well, pretty easy. I just kind of left it in there. You know what? I've had enough! Take this! <laughs> <laughs> That's what you were doing. Okay. You should have checked before turning the oven on. <laughs> Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. Natsuki uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the stove. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyways, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads. But the moment has already been lost. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcake trays into the oven. Then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. Ah, that smells so good! The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet-smelling warm air fills the room. Look at how cute- Cute they all look! You know what? I've had enough! Cheese wheels. Literally all it sounds like is static, dude. <laughs> She proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that'll make it look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using it this time, though. What's this one for? I pick up one of the nozzles that has a much thinner tip than the others. Oh, well that one do- That one's really thin, so you can make it stripes or other patterns. Fair. You can also use it to write stuff on the cake. Like how Lamb demands a, the, the, an asshole. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to write on my cupcakes. Ah, I clicked out of the game. <laughs> huh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Why well, does it, it say not Spooky's an asshole? Well, it Bitch. is a literature event, right? We could make it more literature themed by writing different word on each of the cupcakes. That's a dumb idea, nerd. 
It would be fun to see people choose their cupcakes based on a word they like. Ooh. Hmm? I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid. That's actually a really cute idea, so... Eh. Maybe I'm getting it from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Baka! Come on! Come on! I'm not at school, nobody's judging. You can, can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. But, well... That's if his voice trails off. Same with you. Ooh! What? Did you say something? No, nothing. Let's just do the icing. Natsuki picks up the paste and fastens a nozzle onto each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting our time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. That gave me a chance to think about it. Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing, and then we each get to work. When we're finally finished, Natsuki pulls them, puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look at them together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Well, I wish I could have one right now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but... My dad's making dinner tonight, so I should really save my appetite. <laughs> Sarah was the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably be go down ten cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. You know what? You're unhealthy. <laughs> How does it feel to burn Anakin? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, um, it's a nice heat. It's a, yeah, it's, it's a dry nice, heat. It's a dry heat. It's a dry heat. <laughs> Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much as if, uh, if I can. Well, anyway. I was hoping we'd have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like you'll have this chance. Ever again, man. As usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? And if you and Sayori each carry some, then you could probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. I wish she would listen to me the same way she listens to you. Ah, uh, yeah. I again think back to the conversation I had with Sayori earlier today. I felt so helpless. Sayori always does listen to me, but at the point, at that point, it felt like she just couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, back up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. Just like that, Natsuki's already about to leave. Feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? You licked her finger! Oh, I think you got close. Right. I think you got too close. Look at those fences. <laughs> <laughs> well... I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Yeah? What she said before about not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think it if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere. Um, do you really mean that? No, it's just a lie. Uh, Natsuki looks at me tensely like she's trying to hide her expression. 
Yeah. I want to spend more time with you. Make Lambda! I thought you only cared about getting this done. Oh, I do. Ooh, ooh. I'm sorry I have to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I really... Stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... Apply Zoom 200. <laughs> Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me. Wait, Natsuki. Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch the sides of my shirt as if holding on to me. Her rose-colored cheeks and her matching eyes fill my vision along with her slightly parted lips. What is happening? My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breaths against me. Felt it. The glizzy. The glizzy you have in your pocket! <laughs> For a while now. That is the look of someone who did something they didn't want to. That is the look of... And it was at that moment, she knew. She fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I could be Morgan Freeman. Distorted room. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki suddenly jumps back. Say your... Mm -hmm. uh... Hi, guys! Hi, McLamda! Sorry. Just now, we weren't... Hee hee! It's okay, McLamda. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, uh... Well... You should have come by a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so... Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well. I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any of my cupcakes before then. Anyways, later. Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off and Sayori waves goodbye. Sayori. I thought you didn't want to come over today. Well... I tried staying in my room, but my mind was being mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. I was so trying to predict the line before it happened. What are you talking about? You know... How much fun you were having with Natsuki. And how close you got to her. Especially with that bag of toys. Boom! Ha ha! Wee! Wahoo! Yippee! Wah! It makes me really happy. <laughs> Just imagine her saying all the Mario sounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's Princess Peach! <laughs> that you made such good friends. That you made such good friends. I'm drinking water, bitch. That you made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Mm-hmm. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. But nothing really matters. Anyway. <laughs> That's all that really matters to me. But nothing really matters. Okay. Ma <laughs> Murray. Murray. Why am I feeling this way, McLamda? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, McLamda. If I wasn't there, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. 
I should just... Monica? Monica's right about what? Robot face. Wait, I don't... I don't remember that line. What was Monica right about? Uh, it's... Uh, I don't really know how to explain it oh, to you yet. Okay, okay. Never mind. I think I understand. Uh, Sayori. Okay. What I said before, is it true? Or what? <laughs> wow! Jackson has the reading level of a kindergartner. Tweet it Everyone, out. Everyone, look Tweet at Jackson out. on Moose Safar. Tweet it out. All right, let's go to Twitter, everyone. All right, I'm not going the to let this continue. The place that has the least incels, for sure, right? Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. Wesley? Are you going to like my tweet, too? Uh, did you at me? I might. I haven't written it yet. Uh, if I tweet this out, are you going to like it? Yeah. Alright, good. I just copy and pasted your tweet and just changed <laughs> the at. <laughs> Alright. But, but, Butts. Hold on one second. I need to do okay. Something. I'll just wait patiently. Look, hang on, dude. I, I, uh, Why can't you do everything faster? Shut up. <laughs> Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, McClanda. The boogeyman is coming for me. It's the oogie boogie. I'm really, boogeyman. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really scared that the boogeyman. That I, I might like you more than you might like me. Sayori. He's right behind you. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Big Lambda. I like you so much I want to die. That's how I feel. And. And. That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to be hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need most right now, and that's what I'm going to give you. Glizzy. If, if you... <laughs> Where's the third option? I want... Uh, if you want to go with the different answer than last time, you can see extra dialogue. It won't... Either way... You can choose. I'm going to just go this way again because I'm just going to try and keep it as close to the same as possible. Well, this is the part that doesn't really determine, so you That's could true. go with the That's bottom row. So, yeah, there's extra there's extra dialogue here, so we might as well do that. Yeah. You'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for the things to be like they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please trust me that I know what's best and that and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll help get things back to the way that they were. Can my mic pick up when I'm actually talking? Because I said that three times already. I did not hear it even once. I... I, I see. Sayori forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. Uh, is this what it feels like to 
get stabbed in the chest. I should write a poem about this. Sayori. It's okay. This is just my my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. So please. Please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time that there's no happiness down that path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing... You're also right that I just wanted to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Rick Lambda. I, I trust you with anything. Anything at all. So... Sayori's smile finally breaks. All of a sudden she turns around and drops to her knees. <laughs> Play kit clip of uh, Darth Vader screaming no right now. No! <laughs> Bro, honestly, people will Wait, not believe- this... people will not believe me if I say I did not add that audio. <laughs> that was that was Just... dead on. <laughs> does Does he like me? Uh, do we share feelings for each other? No. It seems in your selfishness you drove the MC away. No. Clutching her head with both hands. She Instead screams, of adding the audio, just add the video for that. <laughs> yeah. Over the screen. <laughs> Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Robot face. Sayori looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayori! Da da da. I'm left helplessly standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more that I could have done. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is, even though I can comfort her. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue plaguing me until things are back to the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sayori will always be my dearest friend, and I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but I decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparation for the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes myself by carefully stacking two trays. Natsuki's already texting up a storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Poor Yuri. Yeah. McLanda. What? That is not your voice for her. Hold on. <laughs> it sounded like it's like a. Elmo. It's like. Yours is more like a this. You're the first one here. That's better. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing the little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. It must be the ones she prepared that have all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You'd think that on days this important she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And then I said, How could you awful. forget? I don't know. Like, <laughs> honestly. Wow, McLambda. You must have the reading level of a kindergartner. Let's both tweet about this and get one like <laughs> each. <laughs> Dude, honestly, I'm, I don't know. Maybe someone random will just be like, hey, I like this tweet. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I bet I get more likes on the tweet than you. Okay. And the winner of this gets an epic Fortnite skin. 
No. <laughs> and they get to be at the Travis Scott Fortnite concert where Ninja is performing live. I'm so hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one doesn't get to burn anything. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, good. And I thought that, that, that was awful. That one gets like... a that one gets a glass of water. A glass of water. Okay, Ch chug real fast. Chug, chug. Jackson, why aren't you reading the line, you imbecile? And I suddenly feel <laughs> awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. Only I, I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, McLamda. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. But I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sarah really tell her ab about it that quickly? About how I basically turned down her confession? That makes me seem really seem like the bad guy here. But I'm the one who knows... You know who I'm a big right fan now. of is, uh, is Billie Eilish. Jizz. I like those songs. Those good songs. I thought she was a bit older because... You know, a couple Google searches of some inappropriate things. It makes me lose my family. A lot of lose juice. My, my professional bowling career, but hey, what can I say? I'm the bad guy. Come on, you're really going to let me, Canyon, burn on Mustafar? I wanted to send you... I wanted to... <laughs> I wanted to send you some meat game stuff, but I already showed you the funniest ones. Yeah. <sighs> my name is Jeff. Uh, geez. Did you just say my name is Jeff? No. <laughs> hey, and I just want to be like in 30 years. <laughs> Someone's going to be like, what's the my name is Jeff meme? Oh, you know the my name is Jeff meme? My generation revolutionized it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know the full story at all, so... <clears throat> don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Uh, Monica is being as friendly as usual. For, for some reason, I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh, hey. They really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so, too. I flip through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flip to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one that she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Oh gosh. Go. Uh, percent symbol... Get out of my head times 52. <laughs> nope, you do it. Go for it. No, I'm not going to say it all. Yeah, you did it last time. You got to do it this time. <laughs> get out of my head before I do what's best for you. Get out of... No, go... Fine. get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem's never actually finished. It just stops moving. I actually really like this poem. Like my great aunt. What? <laughs> I do not like your great aunt. Have I even met your great aunt? I doubt it. But... <laughs> no, I just said that at random. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that that one doesn't get to burn on Mustafar. It makes me mad. It's because it's 2 a.m., dude. It's 2.01 a.m. I'm sorry. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> ah. What is this? Re reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Like an avocado. A free shavakadu. McLamda? What's wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. There's this just some feels... leather in my stomach. Oh. There's just some leather. Yeah, my stomach's all leathery. They made a football out of my stomach after I died. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. But more Burn. than that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why I just kept talking. I changed my mind. 
I'm going to get Sayori, so... Oh. Well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls out that out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. But even the simple gesture of her walking to, or walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always been. That's all she needs, and that's what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. Isn't it more like something a boyfriend would do? In any case, she feels just right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Say your... Yep. Here's the thing that got the video removed no. last time. Oh. <laughs> Whoever let this happen deserves to... You can thank Dan Salvato. Dan Salvato. I don't like you. And probably neither do a lot of the people who played this game. Dot dot dot. Exception has occurred. File game script ch five dot rpy line three o seven. See traceback dot txt for details. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I express the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession, that has to have been what pushed her over the edge. It's not, guys. I'll let you know that now. Oh, everyone watching already knows. <laughs> Her agonized scream still echoes in my ears. Why did I do that to her when she needed me most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I had just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I only had one chance, and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 End. Just kidding. Ha, <laughs> just kidding. We're going to kick it you back into the regular about, game now. It says end about three more times before exactly. you reach a conclusion. And now we get to see, look at all this Doki beautiful Doki. title screen. Ding, 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 We're ding, back at the title ding, screen. Ding, I'm going to move ding, my camera real fast so you can see what it looks like. There you go. How's it look? It's looking pretty good, right? Okay. Load game. I do hit load game, right? Uh, once you do that, it should clear the file, so just... I mean, you could we could wait till next episode to mess with all this. No, we'll do this little first part and then. Okay. Yep. File error characters slash Sayori dot chr. The file is missing or corrupt. Wow. The save file is corrupt. Starting new game. Oh joy. Yeah, we. You're right. It's you, Kong Pao Chicken. 
Uh, <laughs> I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. The girl is Kung Pao Chicken. <laughs> My neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together, and on days like this, but starting around high school, we would oversleep, or she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and go, yeah, just like you're out, just... catch up to me. Beat oh, bumping, dude. Gosh. Oh, uh, Hear that bumping beat? Um... <laughs> it's an ordinary school day like any other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. <sighs> Mornings like are other. just like any other, dude. Just like any other. Nothing changed. Mornings are usually worse being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that, but I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. It's always the anime club. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there'd be any girls in it anyway. And that is where we will leave. Right there. You know what? Let's just finish the day. It's pretty short. How short? Pretty short. Okay, fine. Whatever. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. I'm assuming this is Monica. McLambda? Yeah, it is. No! Oh, uh... <laughs> okay, just so you guys know, this is now new territory for me, so I I have not seen any of this. What the fuck was that? <laughs> um, okay. Monica. Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. They reused that phrasing. Uh, so having <laughs> her smile at me so genuinely feels a little, same phrasing. What'd you come in here for, anyway? Oh, I've just been out looking for some supplies to use for my club. You know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> About that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. Same it feels wording. like nothing but arguing and what? I just said the same wording. Yeah. It feels like nothing but arguing around the budget and the publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Mech is what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Okay, new theory. Okay, this is a prediction from me. Okay, okay. Okay, my theory is that Monica is this, like, sans-type creature where she knows everything. <laughs> um, yeah. That's <laughs> sans-type creature. <laughs> yes, creature. So she knows everything, but not only that, I would predict that she is, like, the the controller of this world. Oh, hey, Jacob. Um, no, he's not in the call. He's just playing more now. Um... So yeah, he's she's always like this, on that more I think now. she's like this, like, controller of this world. So I think she, she I think she hung Sayori. What do you think, think this things world are about to get is? More crazy. Like, I think this is some sort of a prison. I think this is some sort of hellscape. I think it's an eternal punishment for death. So you think, okay, is, is Monica, like... A real person, or I, I think Monica is. Of code gone wrong. I think Monica is some sort of demon. A demon? I, I don't know. Like I, I'm just saying. I think that she is just evil. Evil. Yes, she is evil. 
And you know what it is? It's those green eyes. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> because who and just pupils think, are so green. The first thumbnail was Jackson being like, man, I like Monica the most. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Monica. I'll bet you killed Sayori. That's my theory. My theory is she killed Sayori, and that's why I now hate Monica. So, fuck you, Monica. Let's move on. All right, so I'm going to have to make a different thumbnail for this one. That's fair. That's fair. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be for anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Manga? Nerd! Yeah, it's funny, right? She always funny, insists that manga funny. is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Wait, hey, are you girls? By any Hold chance, on. are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but... If you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please. Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. See, right there, she's a succubus. That's what she fucking is. <laughs> That's she's the word I was looking for. Freaking lure, freaking lure you in only to... <sighs> awesome. You're really sweet, McLanda. You know that? See, she's just charming me. She's charming me. It's nothing, <laughs> really. <laughs> Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. My fucking point. <laughs> Dude, this game is... Oh my gosh. Freaking... Gonna kill Sayori. The freaking... Mm. I hate it. I hate this. <laughs> and thus today marks the day I sold my... <laughs> See? See? I forgot about this line. I forgot about it. Well, the, in, the, in the first playthrough, it says, and today marks the day I sold my soul to Sayori for a cupcake. Exactly. But look <laughs> at that. <laughs> my prediction is right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking spot on. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I timidly follow Monica, follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. <sighs> uh, what was that? I don't know. Why did it just invert? Did I you freaking triple click my up. iPhone button? Like, what's... <laughs> <laughs> wow. A, a, a guest. Do they have any pens? Seriously? You brought a boy? Why did you kill the atmosphere? Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the Club Big Lambda. Dot dot dot. All words escape me in this situation because I'm surrounded by girls. Yes, incredibly cute girls. Blah 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 blah. Shut the fuck up. They're all demons yeah. luring you in. Okay, not all of them. Just just Monica. Monica's boyfriend, right? No, she's a. F hmm. What? No, it almost sounded like you said no. She's a furry. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she likes cosplaying as a succubus for views yeah. on OnlyFans. Hey, if you get paid, you get pay uh what? Po, wahoo, yippee, Natsuki. Oh boy. Go ahead. I said Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently not Suki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. Since there's never any We're salary... We're gonna cry! She's the <laughs> vice president. <laughs> and then Natsuki is just there to burn. Yeah. It's a 
it's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. No, that's not the original line. The original line has Sayori. Oh. It's all been proven right. <sighs> Monica is Sans. What are you, Mon game Monica theory? Monica is Sans. <laughs> <laughs> There's the title right there. Monica is Sans. <laughs> I don't. Okay, the the last. Um, this is actually. <laughs> this is actually the one of the last game theory videos that I personally enjoyed. <laughs> Was one where, um, in one of his Doki Doki Literature Club videos, he um, you know he's been flamed a lot in the past for saying that Ness is Sans, right? Yeah. So he made a joke where he was just like. Monica is Plowy, who is also so-and-so from this game, who is also this game, who is also- And then it cut, and he comes back and he's like, so the team had a talk with me, and uh, I won't be saying anything <laughs> like that anymore. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> so that was, that was like, uh, the last joke I laughed at <laughs> that he said. I mean, yeah, I still watch it every once in a while just for fun, but it's same. rare. I'm... The only like the FNAF videos though. Yeah. In my case at least. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into make Lambda in a classroom and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica! He doesn't have boobs! I mean, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but it just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make you some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, McLamda? The girls oh, have a what few happened desks there? arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So I know you didn't really plan on coming here. But we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? Succubus. As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Unless they're me and starting a YouTube channel. Hey, subscribe. Uh... <laughs> ha ha! That was a funny joke you said. Don't actually subscribe. But guys. notice it didn't. Joke. Notice it, it didn't burn. It didn't burn. It did it. It was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. Hold on. Where's the volume? Oh, there it is. It didn't burn. Okay. Here you go. Hold on. Let me turn up my input volume anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile but it makes school events like the festival that are that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really go grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't tell Mrs. Applegate. I mean, uh, don't worry. <laughs> the teachers gave us permission. Mrs. Applegate? Mm -hmm. From kindergarten? Yes. I just went there She's the other day. Well endowed. You went there the other day? Is that because you have a reading level of a kindergarten? Boom! Get roasted! Get that was roasted. the joke, moron. Get roasted. <laughs> It's a mixture of Shrek and roasted. Get molosted. <laughs> Just read the damn line. <laughs> After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. You're just trying to impress you. Yeah, that's that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I mean that you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, McLamda, what kind of things do you like to read? 
manga? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. No, not much of a reader than I guess. Got him. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. I like the Junie B. Jones series. <laughs> Really? You're gonna let Junie B. Jones burn? I was beating my head against the mic, so I wasn't letting it burn. <laughs> my favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Same. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Dude, it's like freaking Goodnight Moon. <laughs> Go ahead and burn. Have you read that book? No, I haven't. Oh, then you don't understand. Telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep physiological elements usually immerse me as well. Um, that's his psychological? Okay, I'm going to Mustafar. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Yep. Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well have been having a conversation with The Rock. No, what do you my think weakness, of the small rocks. What do you think of the sedimentary layer? Um... I find it's very grounded. I just, I just understood that. <laughs> I, you said I did. I was like, wait, what did he say? And then I realized you said sedimentary layer, <laughs> and I was like, oh, I understand now. Also, you know, it's about to be grounded. My di okay. I'd expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Like this giant rock. It's always been my favorite. Call me Atlas. I really can't put it down. Call me Jackson because I can only put people down just like Wesley. I hate Wesley. Oh, Wesley yeah. is my least favorite of my friends. Definitely. Real horror is often which is, very which successful is why I'm at putting up with the this terrible the anime world. game just for you. If only for a brief moment. You like the anime porn game. I know you do. I want you to know that you made me laugh, but that made me also swallow a piece of ice whole. <laughs> Training to be a Glizzy Gladiator over here. <laughs> oh my here. gosh, bro. That freaking hurt. Where's Glizzy Cast 2, Jackson? It hasn't gotten five likes yet. Ugh. Oh. Also, you haven't recorded it with me, so yeah. Ugh, I hate horror. I hate horror! Sorry. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Lothuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually write, like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Right. What? How do you know we haven't shared poetry yet? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't you say it out loud! It's called Dick Sucking 101. What? And give that back to me! Or I'll... Or I'll... Fine. Fine. Okay. Uh, 
Natsuki, you write your own poems? Did you really comment I'm excommunicating you on mine? <laughs> I was waiting for you to notice that. <laughs> but the funny thing is, I spelled it exactly the same as you. Wait, did I spell it wrong? You did spell it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> now this is true, I have the spelling level of a 7th grader. The same, dude. That is not false. I actually test. I'm just really good at spelling excommunicated because I'm Presbyterian. Anyway. Whoa! Yippee! Eh!